The owner's manual has very helpful information about the operation and maintenance of the doodle scrub. Read the owner's manual first before operating. At the end of the handle, you will find a clamp used to attach to the doodle scrub. Here we see how the handle attaches to the side. And this is where the handle attaches to the back of the doodle scrub. Here's a close-up of the handle being attached. Plug the base of the doodle scrub into the yellow cord on the handle. Plug the machine into a power outlet. The trigger is located at the opposite end of the handle. Just give it a squeeze to operate the doodle scrub. Some uses include under urinals, stairs, under cabinets, around toilets, behind toilets, in the kitchen, you can even polish concrete. To replace the pad, simply peel off the pad from the grip face, then set the machine on the new pad. Prior to use, check the grip face and driver pad. Inspect for wear and debris. Replace as needed. Check the AC power cord. Do not operate equipment if cord is cut, frayed, or if the ground is missing. After use, clean pad and base assembly. Remove and replace pad as needed. Inspect grip face for wear. Remove debris between grip face and base plate. Wipe entire unit with damp microfiber cloth. When finished, make certain a pad is placed under the grip face. Every week you should use a vacuum to clean away debris buildup around the base plate and check the grip face for wear. <coughs> Never place the doodle scrub on the floor or store without a pad. Doing so can damage the grip face. Never try to supply power to the equipment in a different way. This can damage the unit and is not safe. <coughs> Never try to alter the wiring or power supply. This will damage the unit and is not safe. The white driver pad is a quarter inch thick pad used primarily as a spacer pad. Use this pad with diamonds and remember to always check your spacer pad. 3M scotch Bright purple diamond floor pads or diamond coated floor pads for cleaning and polishing. 3M Trizac TZ diamond abrasive strips are for stone polishing. They create a smooth, highly refined surface. The SHO pad is extremely abrasive and heavy with dense fibers. Best used when dirt and buildup are severe. Use wet on VCT and tile. Use with a white or blue driver to protect the grip face. Inspect driver every 15 minutes. Use the extreme sponge to remove scuff marks on VCT or bathroom tile. A little water and this melamine pad deep cleans and restores shine between refinishing jobs. Use wet on VCT and tile. The SQP pad is a thin pad designed to remove several layers of acrylic finish in preparation for recoating. Use dry on VCT and tile. The blue tile and grout pad is best on grout of tile floors, but can be used very effectively on terrazzo, poured non-slip, concrete, 
and other uneven floors. Use wet on several surfaces. 